welcome and let me say straight up I apologize for the flicker in the video uh, my camera and this cube refresh rates are very similar I was able to get rid of the flicker as you can see here but the animations are not correct and I wasn't very impressed so I thought we'll stick with the flicker and see how that went okay so I have a 8x8x12 layer RGB LED cube which I've created a Rubik's cube in and I thought on this video I would show you uh, well the animation and, and the cube resolving and on another video we might talk about uh, how I went about it but first of all I set myself two design criteria. I wanted the uh, Rubik's cube to rotate like a real Rubik's cube and I wanted to be able to solve it as if you would solve a Rubik's cube for a beginner anyway so you're know, using the beginner log algorithms that are available on the internet okay so right now the cube is just randomizing itself okay so the beginner's guide to solving the Rubik's cube first of all you need to create a white cross on top okay there's the algorithm this actually doesn't take too long um, to, to resolve the, to, to the cross once you get the cross you need to get the white face now the white face can take a little bit of time the algorithm is relatively simple however each corner can take as many as four repetitions to solve so 16 repetitions to solve the whole thing and is quite slow in fact this is probably the slowest part of the resolution of this cube um, but it it works and I'm pretty happy with it. It is the beginner's method uh, I know there are people out there who uh, have attempted to solve the cube in 20 moves fantastic except you know Does that gonna look any good because at the end of the day the cube my RGB cube is Aesthetics is for what you're looking at once you solve the top layer You'll need to turn the cube over so now to resolve the middle layer there are two algorithms for the middle layer Depending on the uh, arrangement of the edge piece is if you, you need to use uh, solve the edge piece to the left or solve the edge piece to the right. The algorithm at the moment is solve the edge piece to the left. One of the other things I've done in, the, uh, in this video is the front left edge is the actual edge that we're solving. When we go to solve any other edge, I rotate the cube as if you would a real cube. You would rotate it so that the face that you're working on is orientated correctly. And I've done that uh, throughout this video as well. Okay, now once you've got the center section, we need to get a yellow cross on the top. Again, there are a few algorithms here and I've marked them up depending on the location or the arrangement of the top. So after you get your cross, you want to get your full face on top. Once you get your full face on top, we can do the corner pieces. And of course, finally, after the corner pieces, we need to fill in the uh, edge pieces for the top. There are two algorithms for that as well, again, depending on rotation direction. So we're almost there. Yes, we now have a completed cube. Yay!